One of the biggest sources of operational problems in a ventilation system is the initial layout. Hi, I'm Luis Castaño with uh, IAC's Tip of the Month. Today we're going to talk about something that applies before we actually do the engineering. We're talking about the initial layout when things are in a blank sheet of paper, paper napkin stage of a design, and sometimes that's where things go wrong. If we look at the system, this is a bag house, airflow comes in, it's filtered and goes out. Do you see a problem here? I do, and it's based on how airflow behaves or gas flow behaves. If, if this is the fan pulling a negative here, it tends to pull air in this direction. So the gas flow finds a shortcut to the fan. It doesn't have much motivation to go all the way to the other end of the bag house. You see how big a difference it can make if instead of putting the fan on this side, we put the fan on this side, then the airflow becomes a lot better balanced. Likewise, on the discharge, there's a lot of things happening in this area with high velocities such that filtered gas flow or filtered dust mixes with the gas flow coming in, which causes reentrainment. If we put the discharge on the opposite end, everything works a lot better. Airflow is balanced better, goes to the fan, and the discharge or the filtered dust can come out here in, a, in an area that is not disturbed for a lot better performance. Again, this tip of the month is directed to engineers before they actually lay out the equipment in the plant, because once it's laid out, it's very difficult to change. And I can tell you from field experience, there's a lot of problems related to this stage of the design process. If you would like to discuss the subject in more detail, call one of IAC's sales engineers. Thank you.